My name is Peston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Hi and welcome to all the racing lovers, racing enthusiasts and all those involved in racing who will be taking a look at this pre-recorded show which is recorded on Wednesday the 17th of April as we are racing on Thursday the 18th of April. We usually race on a Wednesday but take note we are racing on Thursday. Right, race number one, there's only a seven race program so it will be the commencement of both the bar pot and the place accumulator, so take note of that. A later start being a seven race program and an earlier ending, 12.55 race number one over 1400 meters. Now let's have a look at race number one. Early scratching is number seven buzz bomb, so take note number seven buzz bomb. This is an individual that they really rate, has been taken out However, we'll be running on the weekend. So for a heads up for the weekend, number seven, Buzz Bomb. This horse I think will just about win on Sunday. But that makes the job a lot easier for number five, Ma Boy Lollipop. Son of Socrat from the Frank Robinson stable. He's got a conveyor belt of these two-year-olds stepping out. And this individual ran a most pleasing second to Issy Vivani on debut. Pace. Fair debut over 1,200 metres, that was at Hollywood Bets Scottsville. Comes to Hollywood Bets Gravel on the poly for the first track. Five draw, everything should be in his favour, and if things map out for him, he does appear the horse they all have to beat. Number six, gorgeous dude, being a year older, and with the gravel experience, however, all on the turf. So we'll be running on the poly for the first time. He's the horse who makes most appeal to take on number five, my boy Lollipop, who's currently trading at even money. So my boy Lollipop will be my first selection. Number six, gorgeous dude, after running second to Bunting and third to Spelling B, who was strongly supported on that occasion. Also steps his hooves onto the poly for the first time will be the main danger. The interesting runner, number 11, always shining. Richard Ferry rode this individual last time out. When shown the expected improvement after running fourth on debut, finished third behind Tea Time Tipple. And on a record-breaking mission is rider Richard Ferry, sitting on about a 22-23% win strike rate. And this is a horse who's going to improve the leaps and bounds. Unfortunately, does have the widest draw to negate, but with the early scratching of Buzz Bomb, will come in one barrier. After those runners, number three, Southern Your Sam, a first-timer from the Frank Robinson stable. This has a nice, big, scopy individual racing over 1,400 metres for the first time. Keep a very close eye. After that, not too much to get excited about. Maybe number 10, McDazzler, is a horse worth factoring in. Now, just out of interest for those who follow stats, draw number two from the last 423 races has seen the most number of winners come out, followed by draw number three. But you've got to take it at face value. Number two, Keela Main doesn't have the form to win the race, but might be worth including in the quartets. So race number one, where do we go? Number five, my boy Lollipop. We hope he makes the expected improvement. Hopefully he takes to the poly and gravel, and he should be able to go very close to winning race number one. Good fun days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together, um, and to have, you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone. Mm -hmm. 